Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to another March Madness Tournament video. Um, this time around, we are not doing products or uh, companies. This time around, we are doing fruit. One of the key fruit food groups, which I recently did a logo, well, logo ranking video on, is going to be the subject for this next tournament. Uh, so, I have the 30... Uh, most popular fruit in the world, basically. Uh, there would be a full 32 seed bracket, but there are just some smaller ones that I wanted to include that didn't have enough solid data on to really um, participate. Like, I wanted to do, like, pawpaws or huckleberries or star fruit, but um, it just wasn't happening. So I have the top 30 seeds, and there are some exotic tropical ones, so don't worry for the fans of those type of fruit. Um, we have 14 different categories to roll in the Magical Bowl. This is the play-in round. If you don't know how this goes, just follow along, and you'll get the hang of it fairly easily. Once again, play-in rounds are best out of five, so first to three points win. Who will end up being crowned the fruit champion? Put in the comments below, what's your favorite fruit? Who do you want to see make it all the way? And what's your least favorite fruit that you may end up throwing up if you even taste it? So the first matchup we got going on is the 17th seed date or date fruit against the 16th seed strawberry. Y'all might be thinking strawberry seems kind of low. And you would be right. This is because the seedings this time around are based off of worldwide production and tonnage. So strawberries, um, very popular fruit, but uh, they're not very big. They don't have a lot of weight to them. And they're not as uh, widely produced as some other fruit on the list. So that's why they're kind of middle seed. All right. So let's draw from the Magical Bowl and see what category we will get first. That will be the last category, category 14, and that's going to be grow ability. How easy are these fruit to grow? Again, this can be a little subjective, this category. A few of them are, but overall, it's a pretty solid list. For strawberry, they are ranked the easiest fruit to grow. Um, some of y'all may think otherwise, but it is uh, fairly widely accepted from what the research shows. Meanwhile, the date fruit, it is ranked uh, 21st on that list, so towards the lower end, one of the more harder fruits to grow. Strawberry, going to get a quick lead here, 1-0 against the date fruit. Next category we're going to pull is subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, join the Southernwoods community if you like these type of series. Again, kind of early to be pulling out that category, but hey, there you go. All right, for real though, next category we got is three. Category three is going to be price of these fruit individually by individual units. So I had to do a little math, so you're welcome. For the strawberry, it's going to run you on average 26 cents per strawberry, over a quarter for a strawberry. For the date, it's 18 cents per fruit. So a little cheaper, the date's going to tie this up 1-1 against the strawberry. Next category we have is category two. Category two is going to be largest brand exporter for each of these fruit and uh, corresponding, uh, or how I determine that, is the revenue. So for example, for strawberries, their largest uh, producer is Driscoll, um, usually known for their frozen fruit. And they are a $3 billion revenue company. Meanwhile, for dates, their largest is the Oasis Date Garden Company. And comparatively, they only have $8.7 million in revenue. So drastically outnumbered here. Strawberry is going to go up two to one. The next category we have is 13, which is going to be a beverage versatility for these fruit. Again, this could be a little bit subjective, but... Strawberry is ranked fourth on that list. So it's the fourth most versatile fruit for beverage making. So you think about, you know, juice, smoothies, cocktails, um, etc. Meanwhile, the date lower on that list, 25th most versatile. So one of the least versatile fruit in this tournament regarding beverages. So strawberry going to get a fairly convincing win here. Three to one against the date. Date, you are out of here. Strawberry, you're moving on to the sweet 16. Now, the next play and matchup we have is the ninth seed pineapple against the 24th seed acai. 
All right, first category we got is like. Like if you like this video so far. It supports the channel, gets me on that algorithm. But for real, the first category we got in this matchup is category 11. Category 11 is going to be storage life. And for pineapple, the storage life, um, this takes into consideration refrigeration, but only three days um, for peak storage life. Uh, meanwhile, for Asai, uh, literally the least on this list, there's a reason why it's so hard to find fresh Asai berries on their own, and that's because they go bad within 24 hours. That's why you usually get frozen Asai bowls or something to that sort when you uh, buy that fruit. So pineapple, uh, not the longest lasting, but Asai the least longest lasting. So pineapple is going to get the first point here. All right. Next category we got is seven. Category seven is going to be nutrition grade. So um, when I say this, I'm going to talk about uh, the biggest nutritional factor uh, these fruit offer, but then I'm going to give their nutritional grade based on my net diary um, nutritional grading. So a lot of these, since they're fruit pretty healthy, are going to be around an A grade. Um, for a Asai, uh, they pack a lot of antioxidants, that's the main nutritional value they're gonna pack for you, and they're given a score of A. Um, meanwhile, pineapple, uh, they, they give you a lot of vitamin C, and that's the main thing they're gonna give you, and again, they have a score of A. So this category is gonna have uh, probably some ties a lot of time. Uh, so we're gonna re-roll for that. No one gets to the point there since they both have an A score. Uh, next up we have is category 10. Category 10 is going to be how many times these fruit are referenced in the music industry, the total amount of songs that reference these. For a pineapple, they're in 180 total songs, most notably by Tech 9 and Ty Dolla Sign. Meanwhile, Asai is in only nine songs I can find, most notably by Donna Annette. So, pineapple going to get a lead here, leading two to zero, threatening to sweep Asai. Next category we got is uh, stuck together. We got category 12 now. Category 12 is going to be culinary versatility. So we already talked about beverages. Now, what about food? For a side, they're ranked 23rd out of 30. So on the lower end of the spectrum, pineapple ranked 6th best uh, versatile for culinary whatever I'm trying to say. They're the sixth most culinary versatile fruit out there. So they are going to sweep Asai three to zero. Moving on to the sweet 16. Asai, you are out of here. Time for the third matchup in this play-in tournament. We have the 25th seed Jackfruit against the eighth seed Cantaloupe. All right. First Category we have is the last category, uh, 14, which is that growability. Melons tend to be fairly hard to grow overall compared to other fruit. So cantaloupe is 25th on that list. So one of the hardest to grow. But jackfruit, actually the hardest fruit to grow on the list, being in last place, 30th. Um, and of course, growability, I didn't mention it before, but, you know, takes into consideration climate, soil, Time to grow, yada, yada. And jackfruit is last on that list. So cantaloupe is going to get the first point here. All right. Next category is going to be category three. That's going to be price of these fruit uh, individually. Jackfruit, this is not the category to roll because they are um, the most expensive fruit in this tournament, running about $60 per fruit. Granted, they are a larger fruit, but that's, for like six pound fruit, $60, $10 a pound, that's kind of a yikes. Cantaloupe, uh, $3.29 per um, cantaloupe, which, you know, is one of the more expensive on the list, but nothing compared to jackfruit. So cantaloupe going to lead here two to zero. All right, next up we got is category 11. Category 11 is going to be storage life uh, for cantaloupe, uh, one and a half weeks typically for uh, your storage life. Meanwhile, for jackfruit, uh, same thing. One and a half weeks uh, will do you good, refrigerated. So we're gonna re-roll once again. 
Uh, let's see if Cantaloupe can put them out with Category 7. Category 7 is going to be that nutritional grade. Uh, jackfruit uh, give you a big boost of vitamin A, and they have an A- minus grade. Meanwhile, Cantaloupe uh, give you a lot of vitamin C, and they have an A grade. So A is better than A-. minus. Cantaloupe is going to sweep Jackfruit, although Jackfruit held in there without getting a point. So Jackfruit, the stinky fruit, you are out of here. Cantaloupe moving on to the Sweet 16. Next matchup we have is the 5th seed Coconut against the 28th seed Raspberry. One of the last seeds is Raspberry. Alright, first category we have is Category 2. Category 2 is going to be brand size for these. So looking at Coconut, their largest producer is Vita Coco, um, which has a revenue of $479 million. For Raspberry, it's also Driscoll, which has that $3 billion revenue mark. So Raspberry going to get a point above Coconut. Next category we got is 13. 13 is going to be that beverage versatility for the raspberry. It's ranked seventh most versatile for the beverages. Meanwhile, coconut is 13th. So not a bad score, but raspberries a little bit more versatile. You see them in a lot more drinks and flavorings uh, rather than coconut. So they're threatening to sweep the coconut two to zero. All right, next up we have is category eight. Category 8 is going to be Best Movie. Um, for Coconut, it's a movie called Mr. Coconut with an 89% uh, Google viewer rating. That's, you know, a high B. That's pretty good for Raspberry. There's no movies or notable movies that I can find with the Raspberry in their title. So, Coconut going to get a point here. They're not going to get swept. All right, next category we got is category four. Uh, this is going to be my personal preference. So which one do I enjoy more? Um, not a huge fan of raspberries, um, but I do like coconut. Um, and I like the flavoring of coconut a little bit better too. Um, and just the aesthetic that it brings. So coconut, oh, voice crack. Wow, that rarely happens to a full-grown man. Uh, Coconut going to tie this thing up 2-2. Two, two. Will they make a miraculous comeback? Let's see. Category 6 is going to be the next one drawn here. Category 6 is going to be total amount of uh, proven or, you know, medically documented health benefits. So for the raspberry, they help with lowering cholesterol and blood pressure, along with six other notable health benefits that I could find. The coconut helps ease inflammation, improve endurance, as well as five other health benefits that I could find. So raspberry, one more health benefit. Um, so they're going to get the nod here, beating coconuts three to two. The coconut, you are out of here. Pretty big upset based on the seedings. Um, so Raspberry moving on to the Sweet 16. All right. We have a lot of matchups to get through. The next one being the 21st seed Apricot against the 12th seed Pear. Not the flashiest fruit. We have Category 14 to start us off. Uh, category 14 is going to be that growability. Pears ranked the 11th easiest fruit to grow. Uh, meanwhile, Apricot, where is that guy? There he is. Apricot ranked 15th, so right in the middle of the list. Pear going to get the nod here going up 1-0. All right, next category we got is three going to be price per fruit. For Apricot, it'll run you about $1.81 per apricot. For um, Pear, it'll run you a dollar and 52 cents so pair a little bit cheaper about 30 cents cheaper they're going to get the knot here going up two to zero threatening to sweep apricots next category we got is category seven category seven is going to be that nutritional grade apricots give you a lot of uh beta carotene um so that's, you know, something a little bit different. Um, and they have a score of A. 
Meanwhile, pears give you a lot of copper, actually. They're one of the best fruits in regard to copper. And they also have a score of A, so we are going to re-roll. All right. It's going to be category 11. Category 11 is going to be storage life for a pear. Uh, about two weeks of storage life for the apricot, however, um, one and a half weeks. So a pear will last a few days more on average. So they are going to sweep apricots three to zero. Moving on to the sweet 16. Apricot, you are out of here. All right. Next play and matchup we have is the 13th seed Lemon against the 20th seed Kiwi. First category we got is category two. Category two is going to be that uh, company um, exporter for the Lemon. That's going to be uh, Limonera, which has a $148.6 million revenue. For the Kiwi, their top exporter or producer is Zespri with a $2.4 billion revenue. One of the larger companies representing these fruit. So Kiwi is actually going to get a point here against the Lemon. Next category we have is 12. Category 12 is going to be culinary versatility for the Kiwi. It's actually ranked 10th, which I found slightly shocking. Um, meanwhile, lemon, uh, fifth, uh, of course, the lemon's used in a lot of uh, foods. So lemon, five uh, positions ahead. They're going to tie this up 1-1. One, one. All right. Next up, we have uh, category four. Category four, uh, my personal preference in the matter. Uh, let's see. I enjoy eating kiwis, of course, a lot more. But in terms of just... Um, my overall taste preference and stuff. I'm going to give the nod here to lemon just because uh, I love putting a lemon in my water or sweet tea. I love uh, lemon flavored drinks and lemon really gives uh, other foods, hence the culinary versatility, a little extra spark. So I'm going to give the nod here to lemon. They go up two to one. All right. Next category we got is 13. Category 13 is going to be beverage versatility. Well, although Kiwi has a 14 middle of the road, lemon is considered the most versatile beverage fruit. Um, so they're going to get the point here beating Kiwi 3 to 1. The Kiwi is out of here. The lemon moving on to the sweet 16. Next matchup we have is the 29th second to last seed Blackberry against the fourth seed Grapes. All right. First category we have is category two, which is going to be these producer companies for blackberries. Luckily for them, their largest producer is Driscoll with that $3 billion revenue mark. For grape, it's actually the company Sunworld with a $57 million revenue. Nothing compared to Driscoll, so blackberry going to get a nod here. Going up one zero. All right. Next category we have is three. That's going to be price per unit. Of course, these are very small fruit. Uh, grape is going to run you about two cents per grape. Uh, blackberry, actually a little more expensive, nine cents per blackberry. So that's not going to help them. Grapes are cheaper, only a couple pennies. They tied up one one. All right. Next category we have is one. Category one is what they're seated upon. Uh, grapes. Uh, fourth seed with 80 million tons being produced every year. Blackberries, second least with 922,000 tons ping, being produced every year. So Grape's going to get the nod here, threatening to beat Blackberries, which are one of my favorites. We'll see. Category 9, My Nines Have Lines, I'm Stupid, I Know, uh, is the most popular song that has this fruit in their title. And I based the popularity by most views on YouTube, um, actually. Um, so Grape is going to be the song Grapes by James Marriott with 1.2 million views on YouTube. For Blackberry, it's a song called uh, Blackberry Molasses by Mista 
with 3.1 million views. So a couple million more views. So Blackberry gonna tie this up 2-2. This is a pretty good matchup in this playing round. Uh, next category we're gonna draw is, they're stuck together, what is this? Category six. Category six is going to be health benefits. So blackberries, they help with digestion, uh, obesity, and four other health benefits. Meanwhile, grapes, uh, lower blood pressure, prevent acne, and one of the most on this tournament with 14 other uh, proven health benefits. So grapes, gonna barely get by here. Taking out blackberry, moving on to the sweet 16. Blackberry, you put up a good shot, but you are out of here. All right, next matchup we have is the third seed, Apple, against the 30th seed, the last seed in this tournament, biggest Cinderella story, Cranberries. So, will it be apples or will it be cranberries? All right, first category we got is 13, which is going to be that beverage versatility for Apple. Uh, 11th, 11th place, not too bad, all right. Uh, just outside the top 10 for Cranberries, middle, 16th uh, in that list. So Apple going to edge out Cranberry here going up a 1 to 0. All right, next category we have is category 12. So from beverage to culinary versatility, Cranberries, second to last most versatile um, food uh, or fruit for food, I guess, um, outside of cranberry sauce. I mean, cranberries, I guess, aren't that used that much. Meanwhile, apples, however, the second most culinary versatile uh, fruit out there. So apple's gonna go up 2-0, threatening to sweep cranberry very quickly. Could come down to category four. My personal preference here, um, I like cranberries um, when it comes to cranberry juice. And I, I'm okay with cranberry sauce, but uh, although I'm not in love with apples, I enjoy them a lot more. There's a little bit more variety in the type of apples, and I think, and, um, you know, I, I enjoy good apple every once in a while. So I am going to give the nod here to apple. They sweep cranberries three to zero, moving on to the sweet 16. Cranberries, you are out of here. See you at Thanksgiving. All right, we're about halfway through this play-in round, or a little bit more past halfway. Um, pretty big video, so, you know, hang in there. Um, and if you're enjoying this, I very appreciate it. Again, leave me that like button. We have the 19th seed cherries against the 14th seed papaya. So first category we're drawing is seven. Category seven is going to be that nutrition grade for cherry. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, they give you a lot of vitamin A and the rank are rated an A score. Meanwhile, Papaya, they give you a lot of vitamin A as well, both very great sources of vitamin A, but they actually have a score of A minus. So with that, Cherry is going to get a nod here, 1-0. Some may find it shocking that Cherry's that low on this ranking or on this uh, seating. Cherries are very popular. We have category 11 next, which is going to be storage life for Papaya, uh, one and a half a week on average. For Cherry, it's going to be one and a half weeks as well. So we're going to re-roll. All right. Next category we have is uh, five. It's a five. Uh, category five is going to be, uh, first time we're getting this, look preference. Uh, so if you watched my logo ranking video, you already know uh, Papaya is not uh, on that list. In fact, Papaya, I think, is one of the uglier fruits out there. Uh, don't like it, but Cherry is uh, higher up on that list. I'm going to give the nod to Cherries. I think they're a very good-looking, um, popular, sexy-looking fruit. They're going to get the nod here. They're up 2-0, threatening to sweep Papaya. We have Category 14 once again, which is going to be that grow ability. Cherries are ranked the 12th easiest fruit to grow. Meanwhile, Papaya, uh, 24th, so on the harder side to grow. Cherries, although... Uh, they're seated low. We're going to sweep Papaya 3-0. to zero. Papaya, you are out of here. All right, next matchup we have is the 11th seed, Peach, 
against the 22nd seed pomegranates. So I'm from Georgia, the peach state, which ironically is one of the harder states to grow peaches. But, you know, I feel... I feel like I need to cheer on the peach, but we shall see what happens with this first category, which is going to be uh, category two. Category two is going to be that biggest uh, brand size for producer. The biggest producer of peaches is supposedly a brand called or company called Wawona, and they have a seven hundred and twenty million dollar revenue. Um, that's decent enough. For pomegranate, it's Palm Wonderful with $183 million revenue, but that's not going to cut it. Peaches get a point here going up 1-0. All right, next category we got is category 8. Uh, one of the, if not the first time getting pop, yeah, yeah like the second time getting uh, category 8, and that's going to be Best Movie. Uh, for pomegranates, it's a movie called The Color of Pomegranates. Uh, very classy name right there uh and that has a 91 percent google rating score so that's actually one of the best on this list um for peaches it's james and the giant peach which only has a 74 percent uh google watcher rating so pomegranate actually going to tie this up one one all right Next category we got is 13, category 13. Again, that beverage versatility for peaches. They're the 10th most versatile uh, beverage fruit. Uh, top 10, you know, love some peach tea or, uh, you know, some peach cocktails. For pomegranate, it's 17th. So kind of middle of the road. Peach going to get the nod here going up two to one. All right, next category we got is category 12. Again, going to culinary after beverage. So uh, pomegranates have an, uh, ranked 18th on culinary versatility. Meanwhile, peaches ranked 11th. So seven positions higher. Peaches are going to beat pomegranate fairly convincingly. Going to move on to the sweet 16. Pomegranates, you are out of here. All right, we have four more matchups in this play-in tournament. Next up, the 27th seed blueberries. Again, probably a lot more popular than the seeding, say, but they're very small, so the actual production uh, via tonnage is not going to be as high. Uh, versus the 6th seed mango. So blueberries versus mangoes. Both very popular fruit, I would have to say. Uh, and again, we're going to draw category 14th to start out, which is going to be that grow ability. Um, so for blueberries, their growability is the rank the second easiest fruit to grow right behind strawberry. For mango, uh, 19th. So on, on a little bit harder to grow. Um, blueberry going to get the nod here, one to zero. All right, next category we got is three. So this is going to be a uh, price per fruit. Uh, mango going to run you about $1.32 per mango. Uh, blueberry uh, about the cheapest, one cent, a penny per blueberry. So they're going to quickly go up to zero against mangoes. All right, next up is category seven. Category seven is going to be that nutritional grade. Mangoes give you a lot of vitamin C. They have an A score. Blueberries give you a lot of antioxidants. They also give an A score for that. So we're going to re-roll. All right. Next up, whoa, category six. Category six is going to be health benefits, blueberries, lower cholesterol, help with blood pressure, as well as five other health benefits. Mangoes, they help prevent anemia. They help with digestion and four other health benefits. So uh, blueberries edges that out by one more health benefit and they're gonna sweep mangoes three to zero, moving on to the sweet 16. Mangoes, you're out of here. Next matchup we have is the 7th seed oranges against the 6th seed figs. 26th seed figs. All right, first category is 5. Category 5 is going to be uh, my look preference between uh, oranges and figs. I don't think figs are that appealing to the eyes. Uh, there's not something super appetizing about them. Uh, meanwhile, um, oranges, uh, I in my logo ranking video, if you saw that, they're my second favorite um, 
fruit based off of appearance. So of course they're gonna get the nod here, one to zero. All right, next category we got is uh, 14, once again, growability being very important here. Uh, oranges ranked sixth easiest fruit to grow. Meanwhile, figs ranked fifth. So one position higher actually, fig is gonna get a point here. I have a fig tree in my backyard. Fun fact. Uh, category three. Category three is going to be that price per fruit. Figs, about uh, 50 cents, a couple of quarters per fig. Oranges, uh, same thing, 50 cents. So this has actually become a contentious battle early on as we re-roll. Uh, next category is going to be uh, seven once again, which is that uh, nutritional grade oranges packed full of vitamin C has an A score. Uh, meanwhile, figs uh, packed full of antioxidants with an A minus uh, nutritional grade score. So orange is going to get the nod here, two to one. All right. Next up is category six. Category six, going back to those health benefits. Uh, figs, they uh, lower blood pressure, help with bone density, as well as only three other health benefits, one of the least amount on this list. Oranges, however, uh, they help boost the immune system, follow that vitamin C, smooth your skin, with, along with 14 other health benefits, drastically more. So orange is going to beat figs three to one. Moving on to the sweet 16, figs, you're out of here. No more fig newtons. Um, next up, second to last matchup in this play-in tournament, we have the 23rd seed limes against the 10th seed honeydew melon. So, what will be the first category? That'll be category 11. Category 11 is going to be storage life for honeydew, a week and a half, uh, which is about the basic. Uh, for limes, though, they last on average three weeks, being perfectly fine for three weeks. So, lime, going to get the point here over honeydew. Next category we got is category 10. One of the first times getting category 10 today, which is going to be a uh, total amount of music references for Limes. They're in 1,010 songs, most notably by The Cure. And, uh, shit. 1,010 songs, most notably by The Cure and Kenny Rogers. Meanwhile, Honeydew Melon, um, only 42 songs, most notably by artists John Legend and Red Velvet. So I'm going to get another point here. All right. Next category is four. This is my personal preference. Uh, hun Honeydew Melon's okay, um, but it's not the best by far. And kind of like how Lemon won, Lime is just uh, a lot more versatile. Uh, add a splash to uh, your beer um, or tea, water food and it just makes things a lot better and i i really enjoyed the taste of lime overall so they're going to sweep honeydew melon three to zero moving on to the sweet 16 honeydew you're out of here now finally the last play in matchup we have is the 15th seed plums against the 18th seed grapefruit First category we have is, once again, 14. That growability has been very important this time around. For plums, it takes uh, 17th middle of the pack uh, in terms of how difficult they are to grow. For grapefruit, um, they are the ninth easiest fruit to grow. Citruses tend to be a little bit easier, so grapefruit going to get a point here over plum. Whoa, a whole bunch flew. Whichever the last one is that I end up picking up will be the chosen one, which is way behind this chair back here. Um, and that's going to be, uh, that's going to be what? This is category five, category five, uh, which is look preference between grapefruit and plums. This is actually fairly close uh, for me. Plums barely missed my top 11 best looking fruits, um, but grapefruits were on the list. Uh, so I'm going to give the nod here to Grapefruit. I think there's just a little little more excitement in their color, a little bit more pop in the eyes. So they threaten to sweet plums now. Next category we got is nine. Category nine is going to be most popular song. 
for Grapefruit, it's a song Grapefruit by Tove Lo with 2.9 million views on YouTube. For Plums, it is, uh, of course, The Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy uh, by the famous classical composer. Uh, and, you know, it's in the Nutcracker. And that has 15 million views. So, uh, versus, what did I say? Uh, 2.9 million. So Plum's actually going to get a point here. They're not going to get swept. Next category we have is three. That's going to be your price per uh, fruit here uh, for plums. 60 cents per plum for grapefruit, a dollar and 18 cents. So Plum's going to tie this up to two, threatening to make a miraculous comeback. We'll see if it happens. All comes down to category seven, which is going to be that nutritional grade. Grapefruit, big source of vitamin C with an A score. Uh, plums, great source of vitamin C as well, but with an A minus nutrition score. So grapefruit, barely going to edge out plums. I don't know, it's kind of ruined for plums there, but they're not going to make it. They're out of here. Grapefruit, moving on to the sweet 16. Whew. It's been a while since we've had a big tournament like this, and playing rounds always uh, take a lot out of you. So, moving on to the Sweet 16, looking ahead, if you were looking for some Cinderella stories, technically the biggest one is going to be the 28th seed Raspberries, again, and as a uh, fuck as well as the 27th seed blueberries. Uh, very popular fruits overall, so the seedings are a little bit deceptive, but you'll get to see the number one and number two seed as well uh, next video in the Sweet 16. So, whew, like if you like that video, if you're excited for the next uh you know, round two, Sweet 16, subscribe and join the Southern Woods community. Without further ado, Southern Woods out.